Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my My Little Pony haul from the Nachtlicht convention. So, Nightlight, Nachtlicht Con. Well, I won't um, like translate this name because the convention was called Nachtlicht Con, which was a small German pony convention that I attended from, from today on, like it was last weekend. When you see the video, it might have been two weeks or three weeks. Uh, I'm a little bit slow right now with like editing videos and getting them up because it's like work is really, really stressful and hard at the moment. Like my normal work, is, this is not my work. Uh, I work a 40 hours shift every week. So that means every Monday to Friday, I, I'm sitting at my like desk and doing like computer stuff, so. Uh, which has nothing to do with ponies, but today we're going to talk about the ponies and the other stuff that I bought at the convention. Um, I mean, a couple of things you have already seen in the vlog, which definitely I have put up before this video, so that's why I don't know when this video exactly will go up, but you will have seen a couple of the items already there, but now you're gonna see them like in detail, that will explain about, like, explain a little bit more about them. So, I'm not going to go through all of the things like chronologically, like which things I bought first or whatever, because I also honestly don't remember. It was really a sensory overload for me with all of those vintage toys over there. I mean, mostly it was ponies, but uh, you, you came into the room and there was already other stuff, like they were already, you know, Rainbow Bride. And, and then you looked over there, there were also keepers. And so it was not just ponies, but the sea, the ocean of ponies <laughs> everywhere. So it was kind of a sensory overload. And I was really like, it was really difficult for me to choose which ponies to get and which ponies not to get because I had never had like such a big like offer there, like which I could choose from. Um, and so I picked a couple of ponies which were like a very common that I was still missing and a couple of more rare items that I was really like that were really high on my wish list. So let's start with a couple of very common ponies. You might be surprised why I did not have them yet, but for example, I picked this Tootsie and I also picked this Starshine. Well, very common ponies. Um, and this is like a new pony to me and this is like an upgrade. I don't want to say upgrade because I won't throw my other Starshine away. But um, like, let's start with Tootsie. They're both from the same vendor. Um, she was from the uh, Netherlands and she had those for really good prices, like four euro each, which was like, I saw a couple of other green Tootsies over there and they were definitely more around the 15 to 20 dollar uh, dollar uh, euro uh, mark and like four for this pony in pretty good condition she's got a couple of marks like very tiny ones um, but I'm like really happy about her yeah I say green Tootsie because obviously I have a Tootsie for the longest time but my Tootsie is white and has blue hair and is an Italian Tootsie um, this is the more like typical colorway uh, of the Pony Tootsie from the US, also released in, in Europe with this colorway. Um, there are also like the Spanish versions also have this kind of colorway. But the more, more over here, more common Tootsie actually is the like European Tootsie or this is even the Italian Tootsie. The European Tootsie also has the same colorway but more like light pink uh, lollipops and this one is a little bit darker lollipops. This is the Italian Tootsie, which you see most often. And I kept, kind of never really see the green one. So Tootsie is a very early pony uh, from the, like um, from the third year, I think, from the Earth Ponies. Earth Pony set uh, together, released with Cherry Jubilee, uh, with Posey, uh, with Posey. Oh, with Lickety Split. Yeah, right. That was the set she came in. So, here she is, she's got these simple little lollipops and you know, it's just a different colorway than the one I had previously. So, um, this is definitely also the colorway that you see more in the um, you know, 
on the merchandise and in the magazines etc so this is the actually more should be the more common colorway but yeah I didn't have her so I picked her up and then yes I also do have a star shine um, uh, over here this is the one I actually had for the longest time starshine also is a very early pony from the second and of yeah from year two so the second year but um, the first set of rainbow ponies I mean you can see that it's got rainbow hair colors and it's the white uh, you uh, but give me a grand, it's a white Pegasus in the set um, why did I pick up this one a it's in a better condition than the one I had um, and B I, I think it is a different um, version of this pony um, so the one I have a has a little bit of cut hair so it's definitely a shorter uh, tail while this one still has the full length you can see that um, the white is definitely very white still with this pony while well, mine is definitely pretty yellow um, not I don't know if you can see that on camera but if I put it against the light this one also is definitely I don't know why but the plastic is really like thin with this one you can squish it together super easily and uh, the symbol is different so so this like both of them have this uh, star the golden glittery star but this one a the symbol looks still better this one is a little bit bled out you can see the the edges are not, not very sharp anymore and definitely is way more yellow than this one this is way more golden um, they still both of them say under their hooves they say um, Hong Kong so that's not the difference but I still think that this one was released on the UK back card from what I saw those have most of the more yellow uh, glittery stars and the typical like US releases or also in other European countries whatever um, when they have glittery versions then it's the more common one and can you see that way more yellow this is in a better condition I will keep both but from because for me they are kind of uh, a different version with a symbol a little bit different and also can you see the hair color it's more pink the pink streak well this is a little bit more red the red pinker streak so it's a variant and was just for euro um, yes, I also bought uh, different things than ponies. These are fairy tale birds. And previously, I only had one little fairy tale bird, um, which was one of like uh, the same shape as this one, so a baby fairy tale bird. And um, I, I really like them. They are very similar to my little pony. Um, they are just birds instead of ponies, but they also have brushable, like kind of, I don't want to say mane because. <laughs> Birds don't have manes, but uh, like at the, at the top of the head there is a little streak and then there's a super long like tail. So that's what, what's give, what gives them uh, the name fairy tails. Uh, it's like, you know, it's like a word play on like fairy tales, like, you know, the fairy tales on the brother's groom or whatever, you know, fairy tales, but also fairy, like a fairy and a tail and they have really long tails. So. It's kind of a wordplay and uh, this is an adult one and this is a baby one and I, I never see them my guess is they were not released in Germany so when you see them online they're very expensive and it's very rare to see them at all um, I've heard that in other European countries they're way more common for example like in the Netherlands or somewhere in the Benelux area or also in the UK or definitely in the US but <laughs> uh, that's not where I buy most of my stuff from um, when I saw that uh, one of the vendors had this little birdie and with the um, with the stand so they can clip on they have these little clips uh, they are kind of they are, yes, their feet are these clips and you can clip them onto the stands and then you can really display them very well the bigger ones obviously also would come with stands this one does not have one but this one had one uh, and it was just 10 euro so like I grabbed it uh, this one is called toddler tails light lavender color and then darker uh, purple and yellow in the hair it's um, as I said it's not only similar to my little pony but it actually is from the same company so Hasbro released uh, these fairy tale birds alongside my little pony in 
I started in 86, 87. This one is from 88, so the um, baby fairy tales, uh, they're called baby flyers. They were released in 88, a set of six babies. <laughs> um, and they were also marketed alongside My Little Pony because this was also still the time when My Little Pony was very big and for example um, they, they were also included in the um, magazines, in the My Little Pony and Friends magazines together etc. So it was like kind of marketed alongside My Little Pony and they match up, I mean look at them, really really well. Um, they actually have quite a lot of sets. Um, and this is actually one that would come together with a second bird. So they are this one's from the Love Birds, and it's called Love Tales. It's kind of the female one. There's a blue one, which is the male one, you could say, and it actually comes in this hard uh, stand where you could put them inside, pretty big. And the set together, <laughs> I've seen it go online for pretty high prices. And um, now I at least have one of them, it's my very first adult fairy tales and look at how long the tails are. I mean now they're even curled, I, I got it with uh, straight hair but I wanted to curl it. So. Um, so the eyes are extremely cute and yes they also have kind of a little bit of a symbol going on. This one has these two hearts, and yeah, love tails, love birds. And uh, the hair quality is the same as My Little Pony. It's wonderful nylon hair, very well made, very good quality. And the adult ones also have a clip, and also they kind of turn, so this is the only point of articulation. And then they can open up and clip onto the stands. I don't have any. Let's see how I display it. And speaking of the fairy tale birds, or fairy tales, uh, I also got a book over there. This is the uh, collector guide, collector's guide, the fairy tales collector guide, collector's <laughs> guide. Uh, you can also see this is the logo. Um, this is actually written by, it says Patrick, well, probably Patrick um, Alkemade. <laughs> is that how uh, I can pronounce your name? And he is the owner of uh, the pony business. Like, what's the pony business? This is a shop. An online shop that yeah he sells My Little Ponies, sometimes also fairy tale birds, and definitely he is like the primary um, uh, seller of the HQG1 custom ponies in Europe. He's from the Netherlands, and um, I got to know him over there. So he had a stand. He had he was a vendor there. He sold some of this, some of the uh, HQG1 custom ponies. He sold a lot of like super cool vintage items, puzzles masks. Uh, he he had, had uh, one of the piggy ponies in stock, like the very rare Spanish piggy ponies and a couple of other uh, stuff. He, I think he had even gem dolls. Um, and I got to know him, I talked a lot with him and he apparently is also the author of this book because he's also a collector of uh, fairy tales. And this is very cool because I mean now I have three fairy tales, like this is like the smallest collection whatsoever. But I can have a look and like dream about all of the fairy tales that were released because as I said there were quite some different sets. So there's the set of the first 12 where you know they have on, the ch on their chests they have symbols like the ponies, <laughs> very similar. And obviously they came with combs and with you know the stems and also with ribbons and some accessories depending on the set. There is for example also the ones that have these, these um, like pens on their tails here. They're yeah, called fan tails. <laughs> like stuff that, that looks like this. Or they are the fuzzy tummy ones that have a little bit of um, fabric on their chests. Or like look at these. These are the European fuzzy tummies. They have even like longer fuzzy chest uh, hair, like oh, they are very, very cute. And um, yeah, when I look in there, for example, here, let's find one of the, here it is. There's Love Tails and Kiss Tails would be uh, the male bird, you could say. And they came with this huge heart stand and you would place them inside the heart. And it's, it's very, it's very, very cool. I didn't even... 
Thank you so much that you showed me this and gave this to me. Um, I would not have noticed this. I, it was on the, on his table, but I kind of, as I said, it was just like old century overload over there. But I don't know, I, I would like to get more into collecting these, but they are so hard to get over here. So probably not going to happen that I'm getting a huge collector of this line. I have this wonderful book. And two of them. Okay, let's keep it going with uh, the pony business because I also bought some HQG1 custom ponies. Uh, in the last pony uh, unboxing on my channel, I kind of got my very first one. It was sent to me by uh, Lucrezia, so one of my subscribers. And I knew about them, but I was like, I had not really gotten into them. I had never bought one. And um, now seeing, uh, seeing them there, so I kind of like, yeah, I need to get at least one or two. And I got myself Kitty Love and I got one of the artistry girl girls. Uh, this one's called Prism. So if you have not seen my other video, so let's quickly talk about this project. So it's called the HQ G1 Custom Pony Club or project. Um, HQ stands just for high quality and they are customs though they are not typical customs as in i just paint a pony in different symbol and rehair it and whatever um they are really like factory made but they're not official so uh, they are not from hasbro or they're not affiliated with hasbro um they they are kind of customs but made in factory so that they look really high quality they really look like original generation one ponies they're using the original molds they're just like reproducing them in these molds but in different colors with different symbols each of the ponies has a kind of a history behind it so um it's uh, um, affiliated with uh some of the people who work for for this project um i don't know all of the stories behind it but with kitty love it apparently probably has something to do with, with the beloved kitty of one of the people who are producing those ponies um and what's cool about it, it's, it's like really you're getting a new pony, but not one, not, not just a reproduction. It's, it's, it's one that has never been out. It's a new character, you could say. And I chose for this pearlized kitty love. A, it's in the, you know, it's in the uh, bubbles or seashell pose, which they were just like very few ponies released ever. Um, then it. It's, it's a pearly, it has a pearlized like coat on it. This pony is also available like in matte, so like a normal pony would be, but um, it's one of the earliest ponies from the um, HQ G1 custom project. And it's, uh, he, he just told me it's, it's not really available in the US anymore because when they're gone, they're gone. And uh, he like from the pony business is one of the only ones who still had them in stock. And so I chose this one. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually more of a dog person than a cat person, though I think this one was uh, like to die for. Also, interestingly enough, this one also came with a little uh, comb. None of the others do, I think. And with a little like heart accessory. So it's a little like a little uh, necklace. So you see it's, it's a little bit pearlized. Very cute. It has freckles. And this little heart, you could, you had to put it on the um, you know, on this little string yourself. It says, what does it actually say? Something with love. Made with love. It says made with love. And she also, like a really real pony would do, she came with this little comb. Um, I did not do anything to the hair. This is how she comes out of the bag. They're coming in these typical, like normal, um, you know, plastic bags. They're not come like on a cart or anything. So you're, you don't have to be uh, scared of like opening them. I just opened it and it just has a little like um, papery tag uh, on the back. And yeah, this is how the hair comes out of there. I'm not really a fan of how that looks because it's kind of messy and the single strands, like, I don't know, it. it yeah, I will definitely try to um, work on it, but the hair quality is really nice. It's really soft and uh, really, really long. And then I chose one of the artistry girls. 
there are six of these ponies in the flutter pony poses um kind of he told me a little bit about it and the set was inspired by a never produced pony set we actually just two of the ponies were released as mail orders back then so um when they like originally these poses are from the flutter ponies and they have these constructions in their backs to put on the wings these don't and um I are actually two ponies in the original My Little Pony line which don't have these flutter wings. They're really hard to come by. I always forget their names. Devils and Little or... Uh, uh. And um, they were just released as mail orders. And so yeah, it's very hard to get them. But apparently they were actually supposed to be a complete set of these like, like artistry ponies. Um, uh, interesting about the original ones they have like hair it's not just like the hair colors are like horizontally kind of striped um they did not do this with this pony set but they kind of paid homage to this idea of these ponies with these you know like very like ab abstract symbols and um in these poses but without the wings we chose this one uh because the colors just remind me so much of the uh the twinkle eye pony wizard i don't know she also has a light pink body and has these two hair colors uh, i think she's more variety in the hair colors but that's why i was like oh she looks <laughs> like her i want to get her so this is the first of the artistry ponies that i have it's a set of six ponies from the hq g1 custom pony so it's not a vintage pony it's a new pony um here I redid the curls, so not still not super happy, but it looks better to me than what she looked directly out of the package. So I recurled it, gave her like a really a boil perm, try to like yeah, get a little bit of these. The thing is, often they separate into really tiny strands of hair, and I don't like this, but yeah, there's a little forelock here, and I think yeah. She also came with a ribbon, yeah, I think they come with ribbons and I'm really happy with her. So I talked to Patrick about um, that I wanted to get a little bit more into this project and um, we might do a little collaboration um, where I show you more of those ponies on my channel in the future. I don't know when because I'm so busy but um, you can look uh, forward to that definitely. Okay. Yeah, I also bought one doll there at um, Nachtlichkon and it's not any doll, it's a doll that belongs into the My Little Pony line, Megan. Um, this is the original first released Megan and I did not have her. I have one Megan doll, but the one I have, oh let's get her out here. You might realize that she looks really different because this is the twice as fancy Megan. She came with the twice as fancy Sundance. So Megan as a character has always been released together with the pony Sundance, a white pony with um, pink hair and pink symbols. This is the original Sundance. And uh, there has been also a so soft Sundance also with the Megan. And Megan also came with different outfits or separate, re separately released outfit packs. And then the last release of a Megan with a different um, Sundance that is there was this one. Um, this one is definitely the more common one that you find here, um, probably because she was just a later release. She was pretty a pretty early release, so she's from year three, which makes it um, 84, 85. So she came together with this pony. So they are finally reunited. Actually, I'm missing the. Um, it's a bridle that goes around the, you know, the head of the pony. Uh, Sundance had one of those, but this is the original dress. So the original normal kind of as it was released in the U.S. It might have been a little bit more white in the beginning, but um, yeah, it has kind of tiny bit of yellowing uh, going on. Her hair is still very soft. It's it's um, still the original factory curl. I just had a very hard time styling it because I can tell, show you. Um, thing is not really good. If you look over there, there's a lot of bold spots. It's not that the hair is ripped out or something. She was just not 
put it like this. I don't know. That's why it's pretty difficult to get her, <laughs> make her a hairstyle where that doesn't show. But I mean, yeah, it's okay. She has a really cute face. I think the body is the same as with the other Megan doll. So yeah, that looks absolutely the same. It's the same body. Uh, she just got a different uh, face mold. And this face mold actually kind of is a recycled one. I was already talking about that in, I don't know, in one of my other videos. A uh, recycled face mold that was uh, supposed to be used for the Moon Dreamers doll line, but kind of ended up just being used for this Megan doll. Um, but this was the first um, like face mold for the original Megan, one of the only like human characters in the My Little Pony line. There they are together now. Megan and Sundance. I got her in actually in one of those bins just at the bottom and I was digging her out there and um, the honestly I don't know your name. I don't know the name of this person. Uh, he I was talking to him a lot because he had this funny like I don't know lottery system where he had lots of like um, like pre like packed and then wrapping paper like items. And you could like, like um, draw, draw one of those, I don't know, chopsticks. <laughs> and if you had like, uh, you could win or you could lose. And uh, either way, you could choose one of those items. And um, but also he had this box at the bottom, and there Megan was in. And of course, I also tried my luck with these chopsticks, and you could win or lose. And of course, the first time I should draw a chopstick, I kind of lost. But I still got something. I could choose one of the other presents that was in a different bin with lots of like more G4 uh, um, ponies and accessories. And of course, <laughs> this is a G2 pony. Uh, I had just like picked it blindly and it turns out to be a morning glory. And if you will know a little bit about me, I have a lot of morning glories, like G2 morning glories. So it's kind of my G2 um, army pony. So not really mad about it so it kind of was typical for me to get a morning glory so i would not have chosen this pony when i was like really picking it like but uh, it was just fun these three or two euros that you would kind of kind of just draw one of those you know it's it was just being lucky and getting one of those or just um losing and i kind of lost but still got a pony out of it and um Towards the end of the day, he even reduced his price and it was just two euros. And I drew one of those chopsticks and it said, yeah, you won. So I could choose one of the other uh, presents that were wrapped. And I chose blindly one of the smaller packages. <laughs> and I ended up with a newborn baby tuppy. Of course, I have that pony as well. Um, but you can never have enough of these cute newborns. and. Uh, yeah, Tuppy is one of the very, very common ponies, but like for two euro, having the fun of like maybe you getting a pony you don't have or whatever. And the cool thing is, he told me that this even this pony comes from one of his best friends, and um, this has written the name in German Tupsy under here, which is like super cute. And look at that hair! <laughs> wow, original factory curl. Look at that. I really like that definitely keep this one in my collection and I love that the person wrote Topsy down there. <laughs> so as I said I would not have chosen this pony normally but it was just a hey let's 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 have a little like let's try let's try and win something or not. Um, by the way there was also this like the, the official raffle uh, of the Nachtlicht Con where I also um, bought some of these um, what are they called in English? Lose. These raffle tickets. I don't know what they're called. And I didn't win anything. That's typical of me. I just but you kind of still got something because when you got when you bought five of those raffle tickets, then you got one of the um, little pack-ins with two postcards from Premium Pommes, so from Anna, Anna uh, who organized not, she's not the sole organizer, they were organizing team for this convention but she was part of it and so she put some of her like postcards in it I already have that one this is um, this is the blossom but I did not have this one because this is one of her new postcard sets with uh, sea ponies 
Uh, it's not really a pony that's existing, but it's very, very cute and I love her style and it even got a little bit of shine to it. So from this official ruffle where I did not want to win anything, at least I got out of this, I got these two postcards. So um, what else? Yeah, everybody who attended the convention also got again one of those wonderful like, bags. I already have one of them. I have two. Uh, Nachtlichkorn bags, one in a different color, and um, I always use them when I go out toy hunting or when I go to the beach or when I go out pony taking photos outside, whatever. It even has a zipper, it's really high quality. It also has an inside pouch, and this is the logo of the convention. It's a little Nachtlicht, Nightlight, one of the German exclusive rainbow ponies, here just in a different art style, and yeah, it says Nachtlichkorn. 2020, which no, that did not happen, and it also didn't happen in 2021, it just happened this year. But they did not, they had already produced those things, so that's why it still says 2020. So, the back, but yeah, I got another one of those bags which I love because I'm using the other one all the time. So, oopsie. And as I was kind of a little bit of a special guest, which I still find hilarious, but uh, I was like, you know, I was doing this interview and I was kind of a special guest. So I also got a scrunchie. Ta-da! This artwork is here on it as well. And yeah, you know, I love scrunchies. This dark blue is just not my, like, I don't want to say it's not my favorite color, but it's just a color I don't use a lot. Uh, let's continue with some other items that are not pony related, but I was so like thrilled to see them over there. Oh, I got some sky dancers, you guys. I mean, one sky dancer doll with the launcher, and then two separate launchers. The only other time I've seen a sky dancer was over in the U.S. in this huge, you know, warehouse kind of thrift thrift store um, and it was very expensive it was like 65 euro or something and this one was 12 so I was very happy and also the launcher belongs to the doll so this is a um, set and these obviously are missing the dolls they are also the smaller ones so they I could not put this doll on it what is that sky dancers have you ever heard of it it's a toy line from Galoop in the mid 90s so they started this toy line in 94 and it ran up until 2000. Um, they are those dolls. They have uh, these wings attached to their arms. They are kind of foam material. Um, they have rooted hair, so like teeny tiny Barbie dolls. And um, they are really ballerina-like because you can see when the legs are always this together as if they were dancing on the tippy toes. And they come with these wonderful launchers and they have this string and pulling the string makes the doll turn. And if you pull it really like fast, then she would fly away. I don't want to try that out. A, because I'm a little bit scared of hurting myself and B, hurting the toy because I don't know if that would destroy something. Um, but you get the point. I could make them fly with this. Um, again, I think they were not really sold over here. Were they in Germany? I had no clue of them. I've never heard of them when I was like little. I just know uh, from other like toy collectors about them. And they are so pastel, so elaborate. I mean the dolls itself. Their faces are cute, but not like something very special. Uh, but the cool thing is really the launchers. Some of them are pearlized. Some of them have like oh, these crazy pastel colors. They are all like, this is one of the um, flower launchers. So from the very first set, they are called, uh, well, they're called flower launchers. Uh, they were available in a color, in a like, I don't know, at least six different colors or something and always then came with a little bit of a different doll. This doll here is called uh, April Blossoms and it's probably one of the most common ones. 
um, there were also launches that had like a moon and stars or it looked like a jungle but all in this wonderful like girly pastely goodness and there were kind of lots of different sets these two belong to a set called the uh, fairy flyers fairy because actually the dolls would be even tinier so you can see they don't like this one does not fit into the launcher they would come with tiny uh, dolls some of them even looking like rabbits or horses itself because these uh, launchers there were three different kinds of these fairy flyers so the rabbits the horses and I think also some flower ones and they had also some dolls that were looking more like rabbits or with a horse face a little bit creepy but look at these launchers and I mean yeah it would also still work here it is a little bow that you had to pull the string and this is horses also in different colors released all of those at least always like four different colors and this one also is a little bow you could pull the string and then the doll or horse doll or rabbit doll that you would put in there would fly away um, this toy line actually was recalled by Galoop in 2000 that's why they stopped producing them uh, around that time although they were kind of popular they also had a TV show going on there was also a, a boy toy line called the um, dragonflies that was very similar to that just looking a little bit different but the concept was the same and they recalled it because they had a lot of problems with uh, people complaining that their children get got hurt because of them um, I don't know nothing really super serious it's not that the child died of it but you know people lost like children lost their eyesight or I mean it's bad enough but like or tiny um, like like scratches that they got un up until like very like they, they got hurt like in their face or whatever so it's kind of it's a little bit of a problem although they have these like foam wings they're really lightweight still children got hurt so they kind of recalled it I, I don't know really how but a couple of years later they again put them out like in 2005 for example there was another wave of them they did not look as cute anymore the colors and everything the molds they changed and I mean yeah this is still from the 90s so this is why it looks so gorgeous and I've, I've never seen them so I was so thrilled um, to get at least these launchers even without the dolls because I think the launchers are like kind of cuter than the dolls itself and one complete doll with the launcher like so sky dancers that's what they're called and one more item that's actually not related to my little pony let's get that now out of the way this is a Barbie cat this is Barbie's kitty uh, honey she's from 1991 and she she was just a separate release it was a cat uh, she came with this little like ruffle like choker I love that this was still there and this little headband yeah. as an ear it is a cat and I think she came with a little like basket buggy thing that you could sit her in and typical early 90s style this has like a rubber face but all the rest is like a plushie and I've always wanted one of those also I love the Barbie dog from that time or from even from earlier yes Barbie had different animals or pets from as early on as I don't know the 70s or the, definitely in the 80s for example my lord or Prince the dog like very very cool and this is honey so I, I got this from from one of the vendors where I got a lot of ponies and then I bundled this in and kind of paid less than uh, what he wanted so it was a lot probably I paid around five euro or something for it so very fluffy at first I was like where actually are the ears cats cats the, where's the ears of the cats but there's one of the ear and the other one is kind of behind here there you go um, I think the color is supposed to be like that because I washed her and she still has these a uh, little bit of yellow or beige spots on her because she also has this beige spot on her face so my guess is that she's not yellowed she that's her original color 
because in the package I always think she looks way more white but I've also seen pictures of way more yellow ones that also have more yellow in the face and I think there was a re-release of this one in a different colorway a little bit later on but this is the cat honey and now we only have ponies left mm -hmm. so which one to choose first let's let's talk about this one this is twisty tails and if you remember my journey of uh, getting all of the Russian grow ponies, then you might remember I actually have twisty tails, right? But you also might see that she looks different than this pony. This is the European release in uh, the Posey Pose. And this is actually how the pony was released in the US. So it was released in a Quackers Pose. So the pose that is like very the head turned very sideways um, I don't know why they changed it up because now in the like European set there were two ponies in the posy pose um, pretty visions as well is in this pose and in the US set they had six unique poses for for this not unique but in the set none not not one of those poses was like repeated in, in the set itself and I don't know why they chose to make uh, in Europe make this pony for this pose but that makes it the variant so now there's a variant and i always wanted also this variant of the pony i was actually hoping to get it maybe over in the us when i was uh, toy hunting there but i didn't see her and uh, suddenly at one of the vendors tables where actually uh, this person did not have a lot of g1 ponies standing there so it was not uh, russian grow ponies were a set of six ponies uh, that had really long manes and tails <laughs> you can see that and uh, they have a mechanism inside their body that would kind of eat <laughs> their tails when you would turn the head so they kind of get shorter and then you can pull the tail and it gets longer again so i think this pony works someone has like braided a little bit um, part of the tail so these little teeny tiny braids that's why I think it doesn't really go in that well um, here it kind of works better you can see the tail really easily gets shorter and gets longer again um, but even though it might not be working 100% uh, she's in a pretty good condition otherwise the only thing is she's a little bit more greenish than um, my other twisty tail so I think I will uh, retro bright her so to get her also to this more bluish tone instead of this green it's not a big difference but i might try it and here you can see the symbol it's russian um, russian comb so yeah everything themed around hair and hair play wonderful crazy colors and very good price for this pony like 15 euro for a pony that's actually a U, um, us release so absolutely happy with that another very classic and actually pretty common pony that i did not have but was happy to buy at this convention is glory yes i have i did not have a glory not in a different version or anything just didn't have her she is one of the early unicorns from year two from the first unicorn set you know with um which other ponies sunbeam uh, moon dancer and twilight uh, Twilight is also still missing in my collection. I, I don't know. I don't think that I saw one there or it just it didn't catch my eye. I don't know. Um, yeah. This is also the uh, Hong Kong produced one. So the one that was most likely released uh, in the US as well. So the glittery symbols. They are definitely also, for example, um, Italian. Uh, glories out there that don't have glitter as the symbols they're just normal painted on symbols but this these symbols are very very well still like intact no rub uh, the whole pony is a little bit yellowed and it has one spot uh, above her eye here so i will try to retro bright her get her a little bit um more white again and try to get that off here but the hair is in beautiful condition which it's, it's mostly the case with all of these early ponies from the first years. I, you hardly ever find them with bad hair, so... Glory! Well, this convention was mainly um, focused around the first generation of My Little Pony. Uh, you still also, obviously, you found G3 ponies a lot over there. Uh, also G4 ponies. Um, 
and G2 ponies. And if you know myself, if you know, if you're watching my videos and you actually know that I'm mainly a G1 collector and all of the other generations, I just take them whenever they, I come across them, maybe at flea markets or when I have them in a lot included or someone gifts them to me. Um, so I was not expecting to buy a generation two pony over there. Well, I've just washed her hair today and styled it, so I don't know if it's already dry, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, so I would, did not expect to buy a G2 pony over there, but I fell in love with this girl. Uh, she was at the table of um, uh, one of the vendors. She's, she, uh, she is called Enough. She's not on an Instagram or, or somewhere else. She's from the Netherlands, but she was also in this youth hostel. Um, I, I met her at the breakfast. We talked a lot and um, really nice person. And she had a couple of ponies over there, different generations and a couple of G2s. And I saw this girl. Here, I took her in her hands. I was like, I've never seen that pony. Um, she had actually completely white hair. Uh, you probably saw her in the video. And I asked her and she was like, I think this pony is a glow in the dark pony. Uh, Cause she's called um, um, Night Glow. And I was like, really? There are G2 ponies that glow in the dark? Uh, okay, it turned out not the whole body or something, but the first streak of hair. This was actually pff, really bad quality. It was super dry and super like frizzy at the ends. Um, but you see, I managed to get it nice uh, with, you know, straightening iron, water, straightening iron, a little bit of uh, hand cream or something, and um, or hand lotion. And um, I also repinked part of the hair and the tail because I found out that this pony actually had part of it had pink hair. So it's typical fading pink, which we know from generation one very well. Um, also was, uh, was there in generation two and it was completely faded to white. And um, I also asked the um, generation two expert in the room. Uh, she was a vendor, actually the girl that I bought this Tootsie and this Starshine from. Um, I can show you her card. So it's not the uh, vendor where I bought this pony, but she is actually the Generation 2 expert. You could say she has a website called Lavender Lagoon for identifying Generation 2 ponies. And I asked her, is this pony really a glow in the dark pony? Uh, she also, she goes also on the name of uh, Moonbreeze. She does customs and she does this beautiful art. So she is mainly uh, interested in the second generation of my little pony. And so she's the expert and she confirmed, yes, this pony has a glow in the dark streak. The first streak of her mane glows in the dark. She had her also at her table for sale for a way higher price, but also in better condition because she still had the pink in her hair and um, the first streak of hair was like also really smooth. Um, but then I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this pony from Enough and paid 10 euro. Bundled it together with something else, which I'm gonna talk about next. But here she is, this is Night Glow. I could not resist her. Super uh, light pink body, uh, white hair, and now also I repinked it. Part pink hair, mane and pink tail, has this red symbol flowers just one color very typical for generation two ponies and it's my favorite generation two pony pose it's a clever clover pose and um, yeah I bought a D2 pony what can I say I love her it's probably my favorite now also it's a very late release so uh, from year it's from 2002 so at that point there were no G2 ponies in the US anymore uh, Europe still had them they were still going pretty, they were like um, selling pretty well. So until 2003, Generation 2 ponies were released here, up until the point when then Generation 3 started. But yeah, Generation 2 pony, love her. Um, and what's that? I bundled them together and also bought this from her. This is an accessory pack uh, called actually the Pony Jewelry. And uh, it's a UK exclusive. It's this little box with uh, a pony picture and the handle looks like a little rainbow. 
And you can open it up and it has lots of uh, hair clips in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six different hair clips um, that were not released with any other pony. So they are not the typical pony hair clips. Actually, I think they were maybe also meant to be for your hair, so also for the hair of uh, like humans, but yeah. And they all say at the back, blah, 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 Hasbro UK. So that makes sense. They were definitely not released in the US, probably also in other European countries, but they are like um, made by the UK. Um, well, what is it called? UK part of Hasbro. Um, and the set is complete. So little hair clips of flowers, butterflies, a pony, a bow. Really sweet. And I try to research a little bit more. I think there are four, at least four, maybe there are more, but I found out about at least four different versions of this. So this is always, you get it in pink and blue. Well, this is a little bit discolored. Um, the back side shows more what the actual color looked like. I will try to retro bright this a little bit, very soft, so that uh, I can get back this pink color. Uh, but pink and blue with this picture, so it shows, I think it's posy and maybe baby, um, baby blossom, I guess. And there's also def definitely a blue and a pink version where uh, it shows a pink pony, which is probably cotton candy, I guess. Um, so at least four different versions were out there and they are from, uh, they were released in year three, so very early on, makes them 84, 85. Pony jewelry. So got it both both together for 20 euro. Um, and actually, yeah, apart from two little accessory things, then there are three more ponies, which were more the big ticket items that I bought. Let's start with these little accessories. This is also, I bought this also from uh, Moon Breeze, so the girl that I bought, uh, for example, this Tootsie here, and she, which she is the generation two expert, you could say, but she had also a lot of generation one stuff at her table. And um, I, I just couldn't resist. This is a little crown uh, that goes to one of the pony wear uh, packs. Actually, let's, ah, what is it called? Pony, uh, Royal Pony, I think um, this pack is called. Uh, has a pink cape with a little white fur trim and shoes and comes with this uh, little see-through uh, transparent crown. I loved it because it's not yellowed or anything, has the original ribbon and it's you can put it on any pony. It did not come with a pony, it's an, a separate pony wear accessory thing. So you could put it on the head of any pony you want and all of her accessories were really cheap, like 50 cents, so I just like this is so cute, I, I just want to take it. Although I have not really, I'm not really into the pony wear things. I don't have the matching cape or anything, but it's just like, I love it. I don't know which pony will, will get to wear it. It's just, let's put it, ah, oh, I'll put it here for now, but couldn't resist it. And then this actually makes more sense because it goes to the baby buggy. Um, you remember, I have now the baby buggy, I have, uh, and the pony that goes to it, baby cuddles, and um, I crafted a, a little bit of like, you know, uh, a blanket and a, and a, a pillow, and also um, the um, lace around the uh, trim, around the edge. But here I would have the original lace. Well, it's very yellow. I don't know if I would be able to bleach this. I could make new um, like uh, uh, elastic in it, and I could use that. That's the real ribbon from probably from the, um, from the umbrella. And then I have now the, um, is it a bib? No, I think it's more like meant to be a, a bonnet. So on top of it, it's actually for a baby pony, but let's pretend this is a baby pony. Uh, this goes around the head like this, behind the ears. Ta -da. No, I think I want. But it goes also to the baby buggy. And then no, um, no pillow, but the blanket. This is the original blanket that goes to the baby buggy. So, all of this together for 50 cents, like, hell yeah. Although the, the, the pillow is not included, I'm super happy. I can put this on baby cuddles and uh, into the baby buggy. I'm not sure if I will gonna work with this because I have like a super good replacement ribbon on it. So, yeah. And 
yeah I knew that I wanted to get at least like one big ticket item there because when are you ever gonna see like more rare and more expensive ponies uh, other than when I just buy them online I will not run across them especially ponies that were never released here and oh, it was such a hard decision um, but then I in the end I got three from the same vendor I also got other stuff from this vendor um, but I kind of bundled it and then in the end it gave me a little bit of like a discount on all of that together so I kind of felt a little bit better about it because these ponies were quite expensive let's start with Napper. Napper is one of these fractal ponies can you see that he is definitely one of the translucent uh, bodies with lots of sparkle glitter in it also has tinsel hair and um, I have four of those ponies this pony said the sparkle ponies were not released in Germany they were in Europe though so definitely in the UK and in other parts but not in Germany so they are a little bit more harder to get over here um, and I have the feeling I have now the four that are a little bit easier to get and then there's Napper and there's also Starhopper. I would say Starhopper is the most difficult to get, the most expensive one, but Napper is up there. I've several times I've tried to get her like winning an auction or something online. They always, always got too expensive and uh, she wasn't exactly cheap there, <laughs> um, but I, 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 did, I w wanted to have her and I don't think that I would get her for a much cheaper product like online anyway so like 40 euro is kind of what she what I would have paid for and I think what she's going for so never uh, the only flaw is that she has a little kind of rip you could say in the symbol but other than that she's in a really good condition I mean her tinsel is a little bit as the tinsel is it doesn't stick really well to the rest of the hair it looks always a little bit uh, frizzy but it actually is pretty good all the tinsel is still there and no problems with the body whatsoever so never this pony set uh, is from year is it year seven I think so so from 88 or is it year six then it would be 87 80 whatever but um, normal release and I think the year after that had also a mail order version of it they have the little symbols also on their cheeks and some of them have a little bit of a different hair color uh, those are even more expensive but this is not this is from the normal release so yeah this is Firefly more specifically uh, the version from Firefly's Adventure why what, what what does that mean well if you actually know Firefly you probably have this pony in your mind early very early release of the first Pegasus set from the second year or third year, I think from the second year even, yeah, I think from the second year uh, of My Little Pony, so from 83, 84. Um, and uh, later on, they released this pony because it's a very famous character, also from the TV series. I uh, released it again in a different pose. So this is the Firefly pose. Here we've got it in a surprise pose. Different body color and also different hair color. I really prefer this version. Like. It, it looks more striking it really looks cool this color combination uh, although this is also very very cute and very nice this pony so there's there's something that both really really cool uh, versions of the same character and um, this Fireflies adventure version was released with a VHS tape actually in well in year 9 so in 1990 1991 pretty late um, actually just with this very first TV special. In 84, I think they made this very first special for My Little Pony, the TV series, whatever. They didn't know that they would make a whole series out of it or whatever. It was just one like, kind of episode and it was just called My Little Pony because they didn't know they would make more. Um, later on, I think 85, 86, whatever, 86, I think, um, this special was included in the TV series under the name of like um, Rescue at Midnight's Castle. And uh, rescue, rescue <laughs> at Midnight Castle. And way later, as I said, in 1990, it was released on VHS together with this pony. So yeah, and Firefly has a pretty prominent role in this, so makes sense. 
So she has a very unusual dark blue hair color. It also tends a little bit to get into a purple. It's a very beautiful color, especially with this pretty hot pink. It's one of my favorite poses. It's like so iconic. The character and like this version is, uh, it was just released in the US. So we, Germany or Europe, we didn't have this uh, VHS tape version and this phone was just never released over here. Um, so it is very special. It's difficult to get. Um, and I just, yeah, I just said, okay, I want to have that pony now. It's in, right in front of me. I will pay the price and it's it's mine and I think she has got a little bit of cut hair she would have longer hair so it is not as bad that I immediately need to rehair it so I don't know if I would have this color on hand probably not but it still looks good so why not and also the tail might be cut a tiny bit I just dyed it now in my usual way uh, with the leg wrap um, yeah so you don't see that it's, it's maybe two, two centimeters too short or something very lovely pony firefly from firefly's adventure from 1990 <sighs> and then the pony that cost me the most but it was definitely on my kind of wish list grail list is yum yum uh, yum yum is from you can maybe guess it it has symbols all over the body it's from a twice as fancy pony set not from the first twice as fancy pony set because they are these ponies are not that hard to get. They were released pretty much everywhere in the world. I have this whole set for the, for a pretty long time already complete, but um, there is a second set. Also, six more ponies that have the symbols all over the body. And um, I have already gotten two of them. I have my, like my biggest grail of this set was Night Glider. That's already out of the way. I have that pony already for a couple of months. That's the blue pony with the, you know, the night sky symbols. My kind of second grail from the set was Yum Yum. It's a white pony with sweets all over it. It has got um, like bonbons, like gumdrops, I don't know, whatever, sugary, uh, hard candy, whatever it is. And it's pink and it actually also is supposed to have pink hair. So the fading pink, it looks pretty white, but I will also repink this. So same as I did with this G2 pony, you can see it was also completely white when I got it, but I have repinked it uh, since I got it. Um, I'm not doing that with the RIT uh, hair dye or whatever, I'm doing it actually with, uh, with Copic markers and it gets pretty nice results, so I won't have a problem with uh, repinking that hair. I just need to be careful that I don't put any of that marker on the pony, obviously. So. Here she is, wonderful, cute uh, bonbon or uh, candy and her cheek, white body otherwise, and then pink and uh, red symbols all over the body that resemble candy. So uh, it's actually pretty interesting that there's actually another pony that's also called Yum Yum, which is a flutter pony, the dark purple flutter pony with the fuchsia hair. Is it fuchsia? No, neon, neon yellow. Neon yellow is not fuchsia, right? Neon yellow is a different... Whatever. Neon yellow hair. And um, I don't know why they chose this name again, because it's a completely different pony. Only both ponies have sweet symbols. They both have like bonbons, candy symbols. Um, but yeah, such a lovely pony. And she will also look even better with pink hair again. But I have not gotten around to do that in, in, in that week, one week that I'm home <laughs> from the convention. So yeah, she was the most expensive pony. I maybe overpaid a little bit for her, but it's also, it's not that she is very, she's, she's not really available very often. Um, and even online, then she would definitely be about the same price. I paid 80 for her. That might be a little bit too much. Maybe she's more worth around 50. But as I said, I never really see her. And yeah, I wanted her. And as I said, I bundled it together with these ponies, also from the same vendor, for example, Glory, the, the Barbie cat, the Sky Dancers. So there was quite a lot from the same vendor and then we bundled it all together, got a little bit of a discount. So thank you so much. I actually forgot your name. Uh, if you see that video, I think sometimes you're watching my videos. Thank you so much. So all of these gorgeous ponies have a new home. Also these kind of oddities, you know, also one of the fairy tales was also from that vendor. So. 
Thank you so much. I'm sorry that I don't know your name anymore. Was it something with Purple Star or something? Was that your name? Ah, uh, uh, mm, whatever. Um, um, oh, wait, stop, 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 stop. I forgot to show you two. Ah, two things. One more pony and one more other item. Ah, I thought I could end with a big uh, ticket item, but now I have two more ponies. Uh, no, one pony and one finder. Uh, yeah. I bought, blah, 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 I bought this finder, which is like the little companion from uh, one of the big keepers. Uh, one of the vendors, um, the two girls, I honestly don't know their names. They're really um, kind of probably well known in the German collectors community. They have a giant collection. They are two sisters. They also gave an interview, so that was amazing to listen to them. Their collection is insane. Like my collection is like, just scratches the surface you could say their collection is amazing but anyways they were also vendors there and they also had a couple of other items other than ponies but i um saw that i had quite a lot of keepers i all i had all of those keepers but i had a couple of finders and i think i bundled it together with the baby fairy tales here um and something else and this pony ha <laughs> yes um, that was also from the same vendor and I got this then for two euro which it actually should cost uh, four euro so I just push put it in uh, in this uh, kind of little lot and then got it for two euro cheaper uh, I got this one actually because I thought it might be the one from the bear you know I have the big keepers bear Brella or Bonnie depends on where you are how it's called because it has got the same colors but it's not <laughs> it's actually from the big ladybird um, keeper that I don't have. I don't even have the small one, but I don't have that keeper. So, so here it is. They're all of the same molds. These silly little, I don't know, they look a little bit like mice or hedgehog mice mixture of something. They all came with the adult keepers and yeah, they have different colors and I just got this one. I don't know what this one's called. Probably has a name. Didn't check it. Um, well, I just threw it in because I could, then I thought I could get it for, I don't know, a little bit of a discount. Um, and actually, uh, the pony that I got from, from them is this one. So, this is Mura Mura, and uh, in German I think Spieglein, although it was never released in Germany, but it has a German name because sometimes it's in the German magazines, because they were made for the UK. And this pony was definitely released in the UK, also in the US, but for whatever reason Germany never got a release of the set. This is from the Magic Message ponies. Um, and last pony haul I showed you Magic Head, which is also from the set. And now I got another one. And um, this was kind of like staying very on, on top of their stand. I don't know why. So I thought, oh, it might be a special pony um, for high price or something. Then I looked at the tag and it said 8 euro. <laughs> so this is actually also one of those ponies that you don't see that often over here. Um, and also not, like definitely not for 8 euro. So I had to get it. It has this wonderful mint green color also. Uh, the hair color is kind of the same as the body color. It just has this one red streak. And typical for the Magic Message ponies, they have these symbols that would change actually when you would apply a little heat on it so like when you have hot fingers and put them on then it would change that doesn't work anymore but we have this, um, this mirror as a symbol and you can see a face in there and the back side here the other side actually shows more like a witch or something so i guess this was changing then um, but the symbol itself is in really good condition no yellowing not crumbling off not sticky uh, the hair is in very nice condition the, this pony just has one like two small problems this hair over here a hair this ear over here is a little yellow at the top and then it has one little like dark spot over here other than that it's like to me it's a perfect pony i have no problems whatsoever it's probably the magic message pony that now that i have that's in the best condition so it's wonderful and I would never have guessed that I get this for such a good price. So I think that's it now. You see, I bought a lot 
and put it together with all of the stuff that I bought the day before in the thrift store and the stuff that I bought at the flea markets that day and the next day I bought way too much that weekend but it was my very first pony convention I was overwhelmed with all of those ponies that I did not yet have I, I can understand that people that are in the pony collectors community for way longer than me for years and years over 10 years maybe from childhood on there's not a lot of ponies that they need so they go over there and they find maybe one or two ponies that, I, that they don't have a special variant of them or, or an Argentinian baby pony or whatever uh, for me it is over there it was still like I don't have that pony I want that pony I don't have that pony so I could have bought so many more but I kind of kept it like with okay some of the ponies that are pretty common ones for very cheap prices and then somewhere I was just like never expecting to find that but uh, okay and then some that were like on my wish list definitely like here yeah, the twice as fancy so one of the sparkle ponies so I hope you enjoyed this overload of ponies here um, in front of my super little small desk. I just wanted to try out like a big pony haul also filming in this location but it, it's, it's just not good. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable here at the ground and the next big pony haul I will definitely film again uh, at my other wall. So, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. See you real soon and may the ponies be with you. Bye!